It's locked. Howdy, Clue Crew. Ready for another episode of Nancy Drew? Get your clue notepad ready. This mystery is getting real spooky. Nancy Drew is almost here. Hang tight a few more moments, and we're going to jump right into the mystery. Enjoy. What are you doing out here? Howdy, folks! Welcome to Travis J's Space here on YouTube. <laughs> and welcome back to another episode of Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we're back. And, uh, gosh, what happened in the last episode? Um, oh, we sorted out the filing uh, for the archives and all of that we, we sorted all that all that out we got that figured out and in turn because we did so we were able to actually rifle through the archives and we found out a few mysterious things about the residents of Moon Lake mm -hmm. I'm looking straight at Mickey Malone Mickey Malone story unfolded in the archives part of me <laughs> Uh, yeah, we found out that he was, uh, well, basically confirmed everything we already knew about him, but, um, it kind of just gave us more of an insight perception on his life, I guess, um, from multiple different angles. And we found an incriminating piece of news about, um, our friend M over at M's Emporium across the lake there. Yeah, she's a shady one. She, uh... She's been, what was it again? Raking the lake, the base of the lake. Now, that's illegal at Moon Lake. Uh, Ranger Acres has said that it's illegal, and he doesn't want anyone disrupting the ecosystems along the lake bed. So, <clears throat> he's got a very uh, plausible plea for acknowledgement and lack of ignorance. Um, but, but, moving forward. Oh, we also opened the safe as well, didn't we? Yeah, we got in there. And we learned about William Akers and his connection to... Oh, so that's what we got to do today. We got to confront Mr. Akers. Jakers. Jakers has got to be confronted. We think you're related to William Akers. Oh, my God. Oh, and while we're there, two birds, one stone, we have to email or email. We have to send this painting or sorry, this picture to Vivian. So she'll give us the key to the uh, tombstone. Yeah, that's what we found out too. That the tomb, the there's a um a secret speakeasy under the house or under land somewhere, and apparently the entrance into it is through a tombstone. Huh. I mean, damn, that's a, that's that's wild. <laughs> and we did read um newspaper newspaper clippings of Mister Malone when he was actually first uh, putting. <clears throat> excuse me. Oh putting this place under construction. So you can only imagine the extensive work that had to be done to create this speakeasy that he just kind of fawned over. Apparently there was one way into the house, or sorry, into the speakeasy through the basement. That's what Vivian told us, uh, Malone's ex-girlfriend. And uh, she also said well, everyone else had to get through the cemetery, but Malone and some of his men came through the house. So we might eventually get that figured out too. Um, but let's just jump right into it. We got so much to do, right? Yeah, we, we, we're busy people. <laughs> All right, folks, you got your tea? Excellent. Yeah. Nice and hot today. Order up. <laughs> oh. Glug glug. <laughs> Ooh, she's good today. Oh, you know your tea's good when you can just feel a light sweat along your skin. Like, just all the crap coming out of your pores. Ah, oh, your body's breathing. And I got my waist trainer on, so I'm really here for it. I'm here to really do the most <laughs> that I can in the moment. I can record. I can work on my figure. I can work on my detox. 
and caffeination nation and what else can I do at the same time? Oh, I've got a foot massager underneath here that has acupuncture things that you roll your feet on. And when the, the nubs hit your feet, certain spots actually trigger relief in different parts of your bodies. So, honey, I am just, I am here working. <laughs> I'm really working. <laughs> uh, uh, multitasking at its finest, right? I just, I just love hitting so many birds with so many stones oh my goodness that sounds horrible <laughs> two birds one stone it's more like six birds one stone you know what i'm saying yeah that's how i roll so <laughs> it can uh what do you call it self what's the self-care is very important very important in my life because if if i don't disaster will strike y'all know too well all right i asked you about your tea you got your tea i got mine you got a blanket Oh, oh, you don't? Gosh, I'm sorry. Hey, why don't you take the one off this couch here? This shawl looking, uh, it, it's kind of got holes in it. It's like knitted, but you could throw that over your back. Yeah, why don't you just reach on in the screen there and grab that blanket. Here, I'll move closer for you. There you go. You, you don't, you don't want it? Oh, okay. Well, that, that's fine. That's fine. I, it, you're not cold though, right? Oh, okay, good, good. That's what you're trying to tell me. Okay, so you're warm. You don't need that. Pla okay. Well, it's there if you need it. <laughs> and you're comfortable, right? Most important question. Ah, oh, I should start asking that first. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's jump in. Here we go. Now, I don't know. Oh, the crickets. It's nighttime. I think we've talked to... Uh... We've talked to Red Knot just about as much as we can. Oh, I almost forgot the timer. One hour. I was just filming uh, Space Colony, so it's set to like 40 minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes. But eventually, I think Space Colony will be an hour too. Maybe. It needs to... Every series needs to mature and grow, you know? Like a plant. <laughs> like Nancy Drew. You know, Message in a Haunted Mansion, the episodes started off like 25, 30 minutes each. We worked our way up to 40 minutes, got up to 50, and thanks to Abigail Cook, we jumped right on up to an hour, honey. Ah, yes, queen, high five. <laughs> oh, thank heavens for that. Um, actually, that's you know, funny. What does that look like? Oh, there's a scratch there. Sorry, we read about how Titus, no, not Titus, uh, I think Iggy? Yeah, Iggy was the one, uh, no, maybe it was Vitus. No, it was Iggy. Um, in the letters we found from William Akers, his diary entries, he basically talked about how Iggy always slept on the porch. So he assumed that the gold was buried under the porch simply because he knew Mickey Malone trained his dogs to protect the gold. And after all of these attempts to try to get the dogs to react to trigger words to go look for the gold, none of them reacted. So he assumed, very smartly so, that the dog that liked to sleep on, the older dog that liked to sleep on the porch, uh, Iggy, was protecting the gold. He was actually listening and just why he was always on, <laughs> on the porch. So I bet you this porch has been torn up a couple times. <laughs> uh, but there's nothing here, I guess, uh, on the porch to to grab hold of or put in our pockets. All right, well, let's just carry on now. Move right along. Oh, I was going to say, too, thanks to Abigail Cook, we have hour-long episodes. But also, do you guys notice how... <laughs> do you all notice how uh, the episodes extend a little bit? Some of them are an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to say that's all me, but... Let's just put it this way. You know if you see an hour, 20 minutes on the on the premiere before you can watch it, that little screen with the thumbnail, and it says premiering in one hour or whatever. If it says an hour, 20 minutes, you know it's a good episode. You know it's juicy because you know, because this goes off in an hour, right? And if at an hour, we're in a really great position. We're in, we're deep in the investigation, like, uh, you know, right, at, right into it. We've put our foot into it then I can't step out of that. I mean, I can't, we gotta keep going, right? So, so you know if it's an hour 20 long episode, you know we've hit some jackpots and eurekas and maybe some second chances too. 
Okay, Mr. Akers. Oh, I guess they had a puppy. Hi, hi, puppies. What's his name? I forget his name now. And it's not on his dish. Whoa, his pants. Look at it. He's seeping through the counter. Whoa. That's kind of Hello odd. again, Ms. Drew. Am hi. I in for another interrogation? Kinda. <laughs> Sorry, Jakers. I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me and I'll take care of it. I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Oh, yes. I'm sure, too. It's been a very long time. Probably like 80 years. 70 years. Joe Akers. Here we go. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I recently found out that William Akers had a son. That might be a little too much too soon for him. I feel like that might be a little ignorant to say. <laughs> I understand he used to be the deputy here. I recently found out that William Akers has... You know what? That's a, actually... No, never mind. I take that back. It's not ignorant. That's a great leeway to kind of talk about it. You know? Let's let's not... Let's hit him with the hard stuff first. Not totally candy coating it, but keeping it soft so that he can catch up. Saturate. I recently and... found out that <laughs> William Akers had a son. All right, all right. Oh. William Akers was my grandfather. Well, why... Why didn't you tell me that before? Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was, and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. <sighs> but, you know... It's really not something to be ashamed of, because when we read William's journey, his grandfather's journal, it sounded like he was trying desperately to find this gold. He wanted nothing more than to find this gold. Not for, for Malone, because well, Malone was in prison and he wasn't telling William where the gold was hidden, but gave him every means to kind of have hints as to where to go and what to look for, what to find, the directions. He was trying his darndest in the, in the journals he wrote out he was trying his darndest to find that money just to support his family he actually even mentioned uh, at one point the birth of his father joe's uh sorry jakers father here so i mean it's it's a beautiful thing he was trying so desperately to find that gold and to get that gold not for himself but for his family he really wanted to give up and get out and start over with his family i wonder if it was low-key kind of a blessing for him that that Malone went into prison. I don't think he mentioned that either. All he said was poor Malone <laughs> sitting there round away. But, you know, he shouldn't he shouldn't look at it so negatively. There's some positives to look at, right? Who knows? In time. He's still a young man. He's still a young man. Generational trauma hasn't even struck him yet. <laughs> Wait till he has kids too. <laughs> and then he'll see for himself. <laughs> what did William Akers do? Oh, Oh, Nancy, you know what he did after what Malone's did arrested. William Akers do I just finished talking about it. He was arrested. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. What the heck? I apologize for my previous behavior. Okay, that was a As quick... As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in Apology. check at all times, and that time I failed. It's okay. It's my duty as a public <laughs> servant to try to make it up to you. What would you uh... like to know? That was very sweet of Jakers to say. See, this is the kind... Okay. I'm going to say this once. I'm going to say it one time, one time only. This is the kind of behavior and the kind of responsibility and um, collection... No, taking, taking inventory. This is the kind of self-inventory and self-reflection. Very instantaneously, too. I just walked away and came back. But that's missing in the world. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people these days don't realize when they've done wrong. And they fight in order to keep their pride intact. But what's the point? You know, Jakers here is a fine example. He just turns around and says, you know, I'm sorry. I realize that's kind of a, a you know what. <laughs> but let me let you know. You know, so I don't know. I think that's really sweet. I think I... I I just love Nancy Drew games <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh, what can you tell okay. me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried on his property? As yeah. far as I know, it doesn't exist. Oh, 
It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. Uh, listen, you of all people, you of all people, Jakers, should know that that's not true. Your grandfather was looking after, or looking for it. Oh, I guess he wouldn't know that because that was in a journal locked in a safe for many years, so... I wish we could tell him. No, that's not the case. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Always a pleasure. That's not the case, Jakers. Your grandfather was, uh, what do you call it? A domestic hero. He was trying to find that gold for himself, because Malone couldn't use it in jail, so that he could give your grandfather a better, or your father a better life. What a shame. You know what, though? Oh, look at that view. I can never get over the views. Especially that one with the clouds. Oh, I just think about all the times me and my father went out boating on the lake and oh, the breeze. And he'd fish and I'd read. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Completely peaceful. Not a single noise but the bob going off in the water. And a quick <laughs> when dad got a big one. Ah. <laughs> uh, this entire this game actually in particular i wasn't really prepared for it but it's really hit me in the feels i got obviously as you guys have seen in the past few episodes there's been way too many uh not too many but uh quite a great deal of checkpoints emotional checkpoints of uh memories that have been living rent free up here for some time rising to the surface this is a strong one <sighs> and i love it <laughs> i love it <laughs> Okay, Em, are you going to talk to us now? I'm still wearing my ranger pin right here. If you want it, you can have it if it means that much to you. How you holding up? Oh, okay, she got over it too. See, the people of Moon Lake, the attitude here on Moon Lake is just so not toxic. It's the opposite. It's so healthy. Everyone is so healthy here. They check themselves a lot. I mean, I guess when you live on a lake where there's not a very high population and your neighbors across the lake and you got to go across the lake to get to see them, you know, you have a lot of time to yourself. But the fact that all this time to himself isn't manifesting negativity and is manifesting this positive responsibility thing, I'm, I'm digging it. Sorry. <laughs> I just, that popped out very strongly th today. Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? Oh, I should. All I got to say about it is if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. Oh, well, uh, but I don't know how I feel about that response. You know, I almost stopped myself because I didn't want to tell her. I didn't want to bring up the rumors, but it sounds like she already knew about it. A lot of stuff they probably already knew about. All I got to say about it is there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere. She's very, she, I found it's for darn sure. Unless, okay, benefit of the doubt. I feel like maybe Jakers. Guess I'll see you later. Like Always Jakers. Always a pleasure. She, uh, oh, excuse me. Like Jakers, she just thinks it's a, oh, pardon me. Thinks it's just a ruse or a, oh, I stopped that right at, there we go. Sorry, I wasn't sure what time we had there or if it was still going. Now, let's make our way back to Sally's house because, um, I'm almost, so, gotta check this. What's your heart? Okay. And off we go. <laughs> what are we doing now? Let's check Nancy's PDA, like always. The map says the dogs will lead the way, probably to his gold. The map is a grid, so it must be hiding some kind of code based on where his dogs would usually roam. I really like all of the reading material in this. I feel like the history, the journals, the archives, kind of everything we did in the last episode was really fulfilling, you know? I don't know why that was, but I, I felt a different sense of kind of um, fulfillment from it. It was a lot of fun just to kind of do the little things and learn the history. I like gathering the receipts and learning the receipts and perhaps a perception too. Huh. Well, better be careful when I live. I bet there are some in the house. Looks like Malone's unlucky day. Send the photo of Vivian. We did that. Vivian W. Speakeasy. We did it. We call Vivian. Call Sally. You know what? Let's call uh, Vivian and let her know we've sent the photo. Yeah, let's get ahead of her. 
because she's an old gal. I mean, you know, she might not uh, remember. <laughs> you know, she it could be sitting there on her dining room table, and we're gonna say, "Hey, listen, I sent the photograph." Oh, that's right. Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, is this Vivian? Oh. No, this is your station drop off. Vivian's fixing snacks in the kitchen. Oh, her friend oh my gosh. he said was Eustacia coming. Eustacia and Drapa? <laughs> Harry Houdini's cousin? Use the air horn like I showed you! No, Eustacia, wait! It's Nancy Drew. I talked to you on the phone a couple of months ago, just oh. after a friend of mine was kidnapped in St. Louis. Yeah! I asked you questions about the theater where the kidnapping took place. The Royal Palladium, remember? Nancy Drew. Sorry, the side note. Watch. This girl's from You're not dead uh, yet? the Nancy Drew mystery. Uh, no. Uh, the Most final scene. people, I talk to them one day, cool, uh, they cross next day over. they're dead. Oh. It is an old age thing. Oh, stop oh. being so morbid, you're <laughs> awesome clam dip. Hello? Nancy? <laughs> so you know Eustacia, huh? Small, small world. <laughs> well, what's up? <laughs> I'm sorry, that last bit's getting me. <laughs> Vivian's walking back to the room with clam dip. Oh, stop being so morbid. Here, have some clam dip. <laughs> Hello, Nancy? I just imagine that whole thing. That's hilarious. She gives me uh, Mrs. McCluskey vibes from Desperate Housewives. Do you guys remember? Oh, hilarious. Okay, William Akers. William Akers, the guy you call Willie. Mm -hmm. He wrote about looking for the gold that Malone had supposedly buried on his property at Moon Lake. Do you know anything about that? The hole in the floor gold heist. Well, yes. I'll be darned. Oh. Oh, so it's news to her, too. Huh. So it's true? He did bury gold on his property? Truth be told, when Mickey told me he was the one who pulled off that heist and that he'd bury 20 gold bars at Moon Lake, I didn't believe him. I thought he was making it up. See, Mickey and I oh. were on the outs by then. I thought he was Ooh. just trying to entice me to come back. But if he told Willie the same thing, maybe there's something to the story after all. Well, that's pretty smart. I'd like to keep Vivian updated on this. I feel like she needs some closure from this this story, this 80-year story. <laughs> um, a Did map. he ever say anything to you about a map? Yes. He oh. said he was making a treasure map in that... Oh. The dogs. Something about those dogs of his. The dogs will lead the, the way. The dogs will lead the way? He was always saying that. In fact, I'm pretty sure he had it engraved on his tombstone. Think, Viv, think. I don't think he had that he was done. making a treasure map and that he was also having paintings done of each dog. Aww. He made it sound like one thing had something to do with the other, like he was giving me some big important clue. But I just figured he was playing games, trying to lure me back with mystery and intrigue. I told him to buzz off. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, I mean, he was a criminal, but, you know... We'll let you know what we find anyways. You can... Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I don't know if I would... Uh, I'm thinking about myself in that situation. I don't know if I, I... If I were in her shoes... That would be such an interesting situation. Gosh. <laughs> okay. Did he say what he was going to do with the paintings? He said he was going to hang them in the speakeasy. And I'm oh. sure that's precisely what he did. Well, I gotta keep my eyes peeled for these portraits then when we get into that speakeasy. Can you remember anything about Malone's dogs that might suggest where he hid the gold? I stayed away from his dogs. <laughs> they made me nervous, always jumping around, barking at this or that. The only one I liked was... Iggy. Uh, oh, Old what Iggy. was his name? Iggy! Yeah! <laughs> I liked Iggy because he was nice and quiet. He just lay on the porch all day and didn't make a pee. <laughs> He sounds like he'd be my favorite, too. <laughs> it's been fun talking to you. Always. Absolutely, absolutely. I love talking to Viv. Oh, what a sweetheart. Oh, we didn't get to tell her, though, that we shipped the thing. Oh, well. And we were just talking about Iggy in the porch and laying there. And, oh, that's so sweet. We're on the same wavelength today. And uh, us and us and Viv. Now, now that we've done that, Oh, I check with Ranger Acres to see if 
I mean, we were just there, but... Oh. Well. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible pun. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean to click this and try to get out of here, and then I ended up pumping the thing. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh, this shirt is coming down. It's coming down. Right, let's see if we have received our key. I never asked that while I was there. I don't think. I can't remember. I don't think I did. All right, Mr. Akers. A package just arrived for you from Las Vegas. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Ooh! How Great! Vivian <gasps> sent me the key. I'll dispose of the package. Are you sure? It's got a. It's got a Beach Hill. Uh, Beach Hill postcard. <laughs> Beach Hill stamp. <laughs> if I could speak today, oh my word! Um, that's from the other mystery. We'll get to that one too eventually. Uh, Nancy Drew, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Yeah, that one's cool too. I can't wait till we get to that one. Okay. Wouldn't want to break any littering laws, would we? Well, you got a point. Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. Well, he was trying very hard to make sure you guys were rich before he left this world. You should know that. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> That's why I'm here. If it helps bring you some closure. Okay, this key looks cool too. Did you guys see the skull on it? Oh, creepy, creepy. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> the heebie-jeebies. Ah. Ooh, that's creepy. I like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, sorry. I think that's the same text. Oh, okay. I need this. I was just saying there earlier how I had waiting. I was waiting on an important text. And I received it. Twice. <laughs> just now. <laughs> okay. Let's get into this forest, y'all. I have never been more excited to get to the cemetery in my life. Because, because, we are about to walk into a grave. What? <laughs> no, it's true. We're, we're, we're gonna walk into a grave site. Which isn't really a grave site this man here who Waldo Mathias we thought was or sorry we discovered was the guy that was after Mickey Malone trying to put him in prison and then I thought why the heck would they put him his body on the on the property why would they bury him here unless they murdered him secretly or something like that however however we realize now it is a secret entry <gasps> it's open <gasps> oh wait what Oh, it's not open. Oh, I hope this key worked. Wait. Oh. Seiko. Whoa, flashback. I'm having a moment here. <laughs> Whoa, this just opened it. Okay, side note. It's really odd. I dated a guy one time named Seiko, but it was without the I, so it was just S-A-K-O, and it's pronounced Seiko. And, whoa, it was just really, the moment I read that and saw that, it just opened this whole vault of memories from many, many moons ago. <laughs> Whew, he was a handsome young man. Anyways, carrying on. <laughs> uh, Bampo, <laughs> what? <laughs> the two, the key, two key didn't open a passage. Oh, okay. So it sounds like, uh... It sounds like Vivian has the answer, or might have a better idea. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Someone please help, never mind. Woo, they're loud in the forest today. <laughs> Can't make that noise. <laughs> All right, well, we gotta call Viv again, and I'm not complaining, I love calling Viv. I think I like calling Viv more than I do Bess and George, or the Hardy Boys, or Sally, <laughs> any of them. 
seven, seven, one, three, seven, nine, one. Oh, I never even used this at the beginning, did I? I Hello? I totally Hi, Vivian. It's Nancy Drew. More questions? I'm afraid so. It's Nancy! Eustacia says hi. <laughs> Come on, dear. <laughs> it's Nancy! Eustacia says hi. <laughs> Come on. I love this woman. I love this woman. I got the key oh. you sent me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There's just one thing. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, where is my brain? <laughs> The key unlocks the letters of the inscription. Uh, uh, just dial in the password and you'll be set. There's just oh. one more thing. Oh, uh, you don't know the password. I'm sorry. You station, I've been playing Canasta all day, and I guess beating her all those times took more out of my brain than I thought. <laughs> Next game, I win. Next game, loser pays for pizza. Well, get control, <laughs> sister, because you're going down. So, where were we? Oh, yeah, the password, the password. Let's see. It was the name of that federal agent, his first name. Waldo? No, 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 not his real first oh. name. Oh, Mickey was always Oops. calling him Baldo. That oh, was it, Baldo. Baldo. Oh, I always thought it was mean to call him that. Especially since Mickey was starting to get a little sparse on top himself. So I just turn the letters until they spell Baldo? Yes, dear, but like almost <laughs> everything else in life, it's trickier than it sounds. <laughs> I love this woman, okay? I, I, I'm identif- This is my spirit animal. <laughs> just like everything else in life, it's trickier than it sounds. <laughs> Are there any other tricks oh, to true. getting into the speakeasy that I should know about? <sighs> I suppose it's only fair to warn you about the tunnels and the doors and the dead ends. Huh? <laughs> Come again? Tunnels? You mean there's more than one way to get to the speakeasy from the cemetery? Mickey had his men dig a bunch of tunnels between the speakeasy and the oh. cemetery with hidden doors that opened when other doors closed and lots of dead ends so that if the speakeasy was ever raided, his guests could hide from the police. Dang. I was always terrified of getting lost, but you're a plucky girl. I'm sure you'll be fine. We will see. It's been fun talking to you. I know. Always a <laughs> I know. Oh, Viv. See, and how sad, because in this day, in 2022, I don't think she'd be alive today. Very sad. She would be in her hundreds. No, she'd be older, wouldn't she? She'd be like 110, because if she was like late teens maybe the youngest like early 20s when she was dating mickey in the 20s would mean she was born in 1900 yeah so she's like in her 90s in 2002 uh see this is how we need to go back to 2002. <laughs> i'm always pushing this agenda and yeah <laughs> i'm excited to get a little further though um let me uh play the next mystery which i will not say what it is yet <laughs> uh but when we get to the newer mysteries it's gonna feel a little odd actually you know not odd because i feel like lately the world has been uh, kind of lacking in the creative department and the effort department since so about gosh i don't know 2015 2016, music, games, movies. I feel like everything has just gone so bland and dull and dry and boring. <laughs> so, it's nice to even play Nancy Drew games from, you know, 2010, 2013, 2014. They, they always deliver. They always have delivered. That's why I just, this game is on the top. And I mean the top of my ultimate, all-time favorite games of all time. Forever and always. <laughs> Nancy Drew, right at the top. The whole series. So all 34 games come above any other game. Sims. Uh, anything. <laughs> Nothing's coming to mind today because there's not enough tea. And the brain is not uh, cooperating today. <laughs> this is a malfunction. Thank you for coming to my malfunction. <laughs> okay, so Baldo. Seiko again. 
Okay, so this moves on its own, that's good, but I was gonna say this is gonna get moved to Bando. Oh, oh, that was easy. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! Uh, oh yeah, this is. It's too dark. I need a flashlight. Oh, good thing I got one. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this! The batteries oh. are going dead. Oh, I come can't on. see a thing. I'd better go back. Oh sweet Jesus! Yeah, that's a great idea because uh, it is dark and I'm hearing noises already and. <laughs> Whoa, this is really creepy. What what a creepy per perception here. Did you ever think you would ever be in a grave looking up at the tombstone from a hole in the ground? What an odd angle <laughs> of observation. That's that's really creepy. Ooh, and they creepily go back up on their own. So that's really creepy. I feel like I just... I feel like I'm Waldo Matthias and this has secretly been my bunker for 80 years and I'm just coming on out, no worries, lock it up, gotta get some groceries. <laughs> what a great idea though. Okay, sorry, I spy with my little eye to the very right. That symbol or whatever on the top of the gravestone, it looked like something from a previous game. Could be completely wrong. Can't get a quite a good. I can kind of see it. It looks like a stone of some sort, something. But I wonder if that's another Easter egg. Oh, and maybe this one is too. Shoot. Well, that's one of my goals too, is to get all these, uh, all of these, uh, <laughs> tombstones identified. There was one back here we identified. I can't remember what it was called now. <laughs> okay, so batteries? We need batteries now. Get new flashlight batteries from Emily. You know what that means, folks. <laughs> you know what that means. If we're doing something for Emily, or sorry, if we're asking Emily for something, you know we're doing something for Emily. <laughs> you know, sis is gonna want something in return. Such is life, though. Just like Vivian said, such is life what it is and we're happy to do it right i'm happy to do it nancy maybe not so much <laughs> we got this right oh i'm punching this microphone silly today <laughs> sorry i know that's probably all you're hearing is boom 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 we're that sorry oh she purposely hit it now <laughs> your poor ears okay how you holding up Well, linearly, uh, I'm vertical, so that's good. I need flashlight <laughs> still batteries. Still vertical. Do you carry them? Yep. <laughs> but you know, I've been meaning to make a pretty display out of them packs of combo cola oh. over there for the longest time. Oh, you were? Just can't seem to get around to it. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. <laughs> In other words, you'd like me to give it a shot. In other words, you'd like me to give it a shot. Here's the way it should look when you're done. Oh, all right, cool. The smiling fish. Can I take this? Thank you. All right. So I've got some uh, goodies to sort. Oh, dang. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Whoa. You know what I thought? I thought we had to move one can at a time. I was just going to turn around, walk out this shop, and light a darn candle down that freaking secret entrance <laughs> okay so let's see here the smiling fish so all green along in this side however green green orange yellow green green orange yellow okay so far so good is this already set up oh it is oh it is okay great uh so the next section this is easy because each box of pop has a certain um, uh, alignment, right? And it, since she put in the grid here, we can figure out which one's which. And we just have to put them into place. Two orange, four yellow. 
Oh, look at that. Just like that. We're going to have these batteries in no time. Come on, Nancy. You can do this. You got this. You've dealt with much worse. Oh, that one's already in its place. Half the job's already done. Look at this. That's already done. And so is that. Oh my gosh. She was literally she was literally so close to uh, finishing uh, Sally. I can't believe she gave up so soon to being finished. Well, I shouldn't be complaining because less work for us. <laughs> We're just finishing her dirty work. That's all right. I'm all right with that. I'm gonna twist this around. Oh. Three orange, one red. This needs to be spun around. How do we spin this? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, well let's work on the one below it then for now, which is this one. And then, see, this has got to get spun around too. <laughs> How do I rotate this? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense at all. And this needs to be spun around too. What if I back out and go back in? It should it should tell us, right? Right? Because if I click, it ain't doing nothing. If I click the middle thing, it ain't doing nothing. Right click, it ain't doing nothing. Arrow. This button. This button. I couldn't tell you. Well, ain't that some... Wait, maybe Nancy's got a note on it. I'll range... Oh. <laughs> uh, well. Well, it seemed easy. Dang, that took me a while, didn't it? <laughs> oh, what a relief. I was so worried there. Are we ever going to get these batteries? It's right in the corner. I should know this. Message in a haunted mansion. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There, that looks right, right? Yeah. Uh, nope. Ta-da! One smiling goldfish. <laughs> it's obviously never tried combo cola. <laughs> I know what cola they're talking about, too. <laughs> and they're not talking about combo cola. <laughs> hey, about, Nancy. Uh, this mean you got them cans famous stacked? cousin. Yes, you bet. You bet. They look just like the picture you gave me, which you can have back. Oops. Here's your batteries, so and thanks, see. Nancy. Yay! And a new flashlight? Oh, never mind. We're sorting it out on the counter. I love the attention to detail. Mm. So satisfying. Excuse me, Peg. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. Can we look at the scan? Oh, the smiling fish. Yeah, I guess if you squint, you can see the fish. That's cute. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that obsessed with the fish. Okay. Let's get back out of here. We have got a tombstone to walk into. As crazy as that sounds. <laughs> but it's true. Fabulous. Oh, is it? Okay. I've been definitely checking on the times lately. Only because... Um, today is a very busy day for me. <laughs> I've got a very busy day ahead of me. And, uh, i got a lot of recording to do today. Before I even get into my business. So, 
I'm going to be pretty white <laughs> by the end of today. And I just want to make sure I am not wasting a gosh darn tootin' second of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those people that likes to utilize every last minute. Multitasker. You know, triple tasker sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, important, my little guy. Now, if we didn't have him, we'd be let's playing all day. It's so... <laughs> oh, I gotta do this again. Okay. Ball. Duh. Okay. Oh, that was easy. I didn't realize the L was already in place and everything. Okay. Cool. Cool. It's silly to try to explore this in the dark. Well, thank God we got a flashlight. Anything on the walls? This is very creepy. We are going deep, deep, deep into what feels like somebody's grave. But meanwhile... Whoa! Where am I? What's in here? Oh my. This is like a, a dead end. Lots of roots. You know what? That's what I would think. How... I was going to mention that earlier. Make note of the fact that... How the hell did they get all those men to build all these tunnels that must have took forever because you saw the forest we had to walk through that's a lot of roots <laughs> that's a lot of roots and big trees and do a lot of cutting a lot of tearing down back in the 20s you didn't have an electric saw i don't think that was scary okay we're just gonna walk along here and just carry on. Uh-oh. <laughs> that scared me. I thought something was coming. Well, <sighs> when things don't go right, go left. But things are going right. So we'll go right. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh. What's this? Look at all this wood down here. They really just said... They really just said, okay, we're done building the tunnel, and walked out. Oh, let's see here. Why are we getting so close? Alright. Well, let's just keep trucking along. There's another root popping out. But the tree as well, they would really have to, like, reprogram everything. Because the trees... Wouldn't they? Oh, oh, here we go. Wait, I'm nervous. I want to go this way. <gasps> what the heck was that? Is there mice down here? Oh, the deer mice. Um, is this the way we came? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I feel like that. Oh, we haven't gone this way, though. Oh, this way. Right. Um, the trees. Yeah, I feel like if it's all empty under here. Oh. Oh, very nice mineral rock. Look at those veins. Um, I feel like the trees would break the earth and it would fall down. No? Heavy trees? But see, if that's the case, then they must have had to pull out so many trees and really orchestrated this um, carefully. Okay, so we're just back to the beginning. I thought there might have been something along the tunnel. Who knew? Oh well. Nothing going on there. But of course, Vivian let us know that Mickey Malone liked his tunnels and his uh, dead ends and his uh, distractions. <gasps> oh, hell. So hell no. this <gasps> is the speakeasy. Wow. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Dang! Look at this, folks. Look at this. Oh. oh, oh, hell no! This is like this is. Oh, look at that! The boneyard. Are you kidding me? I'm in love, and to think this massive extravagant gorgeous very intricately designed ritzy speakeasy 
has been hiding under this fallen apart old rickety shack this whole time complete with stage I mean wow wow this man really had the life I mean him and Vivian really 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 <gasps> oh we got bullet holes too okay so things got pretty serious down here it wasn't all fun and games someone could have died there Oh, and look at this. We've got those portraits, So, too. Lucy would swim out to the shipwreck, which is about here. Oh, okay. So, these are the paintings we need in order to start filling out the positions of where we go on the map, I guess. Aww. Folly. Ooh, I'm writing that down. You writing that down? That's the name of his ship whatever that means but I feel like it's gonna have some importance and what and this is for Lucy so I'm gonna put Molly Lucy just in case just in case you never know oh who's this is that Vivian oh I think that's Vivian wow oh cute pup he really loved his dog I think that's the only thing about all this that uh, the only thing about all of this that makes me very happy about Mr. Malone is that he was very, very good to his pups. What was this? Oh. Oh, well, he was a clever boy, too. <laughs> Let me tell you. What's that do? Is that going to open? I guess not. Okay. We may have to ask Vivian about that one. Oh, there's a painting over there, but it looks kind of burnt. There's a lot of dust down here, too. Gosh, I am so tempted to grab my Swiffer right now. Oof. Actually, I don't know if my Swiffer could... Uh, let me just spit on the screen. <laughs> uh, I don't think my Swiffer could handle this, to be honest. I think I'm just going to pull out the vacuum and suck all this stuff up, because... Dang. Now I, now I definitely, if I didn't want to be living here and be jumping through my screen any more than I do now, you know what I'm saying? I really want to jump in the screen. That must be Waldo with eyes. Just saying. But now I really want to jump in my screen. I haven't wanted to more, more than ever. Aw, he's so cute. <laughs> he is cute. Is that uh, the youngest? I'm thinking. I'm thinking the youngest. No. Oh, Xander? Is this Xander? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, so cute. I am starting to uh, see the love here for these pups. Oh, he's even playing darts. That's in front of the in front of the uh, cabin. Oh, wait, no, I ain't ready. Ew, I don't like looking down that hallway either. <sighs> oh. If map is correct, the tree where Vitus would bark at the hawks used to be right about here. Okay, so I wonder then if we're trying to... Hey. All their collars have different colors. I'll just start a new page here. Uh, Nancy Drew. Ghost dogs. Up Moon Lake. All right, so I'm gonna put Vitus gr uh, blue. Blue collar. Uh, what was the last one that we just saw? That was Lucy. Lucy. I think hers was green. I'm not sure. I'll just put... But I will put Folly because we saw the boat. Boat name. Okay. All right. Let's go back to that portrait then. Lucy's closer. Uh, was it Lucy? It was Lucy. She's right over here. Green. All right, I was right with that one. 
green. Alright, um, and then there's another painting. I did notice that we've got another painting here behind the bar. Oh. <laughs> Dapper dog. <laughs> Sodas and spirits. Oh, that's cool. I love this. Gosh, I love this place. Alright, and then we got Iggy. And that's a yellow... I guess it's safe to say that's yellow, yeah? Yellow color! Fabulous. Aww. Aww! I just realized that... <laughs> once I realized this is Iggy, he's laying on his porch. He's laying on his blanket with his bone in front of the door. Aww. <laughs> <sighs> Never have I ever wanted to have four dogs. Those on the must lake be the spigots life. William Akers mentioned in his journal. All right. But the journal isn't with us. Oh. Well. Hey now, hey now, hey now. You know what? These are all the collar colors. These are all the collar colors. I don't know what it means yet, <laughs> but all I know is it's got something to do with. Oh, I can't go for that. It's got something to do with these dogs' portraits. Now you see, though, this is the only portrait that's really mysterious. Red. This is Xander. Red collar. Interesting. This, uh, this one looks damaged. And you can't really tell where he is, you know? Huh. That's very interesting. And, and Nancy didn't say anything about that one. We see Vitus, Xander. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, the puppies are everywhere. I love it. I love it so much. Ah, uh, what's I gonna do? I kind of want to see if. Okay, nothing up there. You know, Nancy also didn't. Oh, Iggy, that's already there. Okay, so it's just uh. It's just Xander that's not getting a, an update here. Okay. Can I go on the stage? No! Oh, that's too bad. I'm gonna sing a song for y'all. Alright, what's in here? Oh, this is to the basement. Yes! Look at that. Look at that. We made a full circle. Okay. Oh, we could go through this way now, too! Yay! Very cool. This has been just sitting down here this whole time. Oh my gosh. Makes me wonder how long those lights were on, too. Alright. Let's look in here again. Now, uh, did I mention which person? Ah, uh, care of his dogs. When the time came, then. Find him at the gold he stole two years ago. Then they show, shoved him into the wagon. Looked under the Victrola and found the map. Promise there's nothing nice before it starts to finish. Boy, for baby, haven't had anything, so I'm gonna pack them up. Like you never told me outright that there was this guy who pulled in for me. Okay, we all this. Uh, what are those boys crawled under the bushes? That's what I'm looking for. He's trying to go bars. Train his dogs to go to the gold if you say something. No. I've said every word I can, blah, 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 except for our circles. <laughs> I'm first standard with Vitus and Lucy. I don't follow Iggy because he sleeps on the porch. <laughs> Where Iggy always is. A month ago, I started working as a handyman, feed the dogs, I go for gold, blah, 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 blah. Mark the porch on the map with a big eye for Iggy because that's the place he always leads me to. Is there anything about Xander? The 
grass looks so much alike, especially at night. If you never allow the dogs in the speakeasy or the tunnels, I've been looking there for the gold. And so I looked everywhere else I can think of and got nowhere. Last week I found that Mickey changed the passcode to the spigots and the speakeasy. This caught my hopes up because the way I figured it, why would Mickey change the code without telling me unless he was hiding something? I didn't find anything in the tunnel that opened up that wasn't there before. Why Mickey spend all that money on pictures of those dogs of his? I'll never understand. Huh. I gave up. Mickey's dead and Sorrel's dogs. I'll never find the gold. I've got a job offer. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm leaving this journal. Okay, so that didn't really give us much information. Is of... Oh, right. It shows that his collar is red. Pump the spigot. Then push the red button to make the letters move. Oh! Sure, love those dogs. are probably need to use the first letter of their names, but how was each big associated with a certain dog? The collar. The collar. Green collar. Okay. Oh, why is Lucy showing shown on top of a boat in her painting? Check out Ranger Acres database for the information on boat wrecks in the lake. Now, see, I do have the name of it. It's the Folly. So we'll look that up for sure. Um, but I think we should probably, I love this journal though. I think all the information, in, you can really understand William's struggle. William Anchors' is, uh, his struggle and his experiences. Uh, it, it captivates it very well. It's very captivating to me. I feel like they captured it very well is what I'm trying to say. When I read it, I can imagine him just, the struggle and the, that could be a, a side clip all on its own. Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> okay. And there's even a dog in the floor. Wow, interesting. Okay, so the red collar is Xander, so we want an X. Yikes, this might take a while. <laughs> we got this though, folks. Oh, there we go, X. Blue is V. Shoot, we're gonna have to go around a couple times, I think. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. And yellow is I. I spy with my little eye. Ah, we always just pass it. <laughs> Next one. This gonna be the one. Yes. XVI. Wait! XVI? That's Roman numerals. 16. XVI is 16, right? I'm gonna write that down. Actually, wait, let's. What would the last one be? L. X V I L. <gasps> X V I L. That's definitely some kind of. Some kind of Roman numeral. Okay. Last but certainly not least, the anticipation is killing me. Wait, what letter? X V. Oh, L. <laughs> of course, see? Ugh. Again. Going around in circles. One more time. This should do the trick. Kachinga. <gasps> Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> Where was that? I feel like we just got a glimpse into another part of the tunnel far away from us. That's really creepy. What opened up, though? I don't understand. Is there an opening in here? I guess not. I guess it's in the tunnels. Huh. Alright. Okay, I'm a little nervous, to be honest. 
going in here and we have three minutes left that's perfect timing oh what the hell that's new <gasps> okay yep here's the door that I found uh, or opened what the heck is this oh another another portrait and they're all color-coded oh okay we've got a puzzle here on our hands <gasps> Wait a minute. Does that look familiar? No, that's not the same, is it? It's a little different. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going then. Uh, th this guy really went off. I think the only reason why he went off with his portraits and his paintings is because he utilized his babies as a really good puzzle system, which is smart. You know, because if you love your dogs. You see, that's not it either. That's not Moon Lake. Or, well, it could be, but it's not our section of Moon Lake. Lucy. Lucy. Ah, this looks more like our... Right? Oh, <gasps> this is exactly... Alright, we're gonna screw with that in just a moment. <laughs> but first... <laughs> We need to finish looking at everything. Oh. Xander, play by the pump, which Jeez, is right Nancy. here. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got all four now. So it, I think we need to click these squares in that order. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a whole other lake too. So he even went out of his way to create fake maps of fake lakes. <laughs> Just to confuse whoever's trying to get in. Holy though, there's a lot more back here though than we thought. I'm very nervous that these lights are on. Why are the lights on? What? A dead end. Another dead end. Oh, Malone, you silly boy. You silly. B I don't like that noise. <laughs> I think I heard a dog. Oh! Oh! Someone is scratching. They're behind. Or something. And I heard a crunch. And I hear water. And I hear a... What? Is there dogs? Hello? Oh. Oh, honey. We found the dogs. Oh, we found the dogs. Oh, we found the dogs. Okay, see now I am very scared because <laughs> if the dogs are trained to attack and they're not in a cage, they will attack us, won't they? Ha! Perfect timing. Uh, however, though, this is one of those one hour and 20 minute episodes because we need to get this done. <laughs> this is too exhilarating. Okay, so we got the dock, which is right Dock is right here. So this square here is Iggy. So let's start with Iggy. Then we got Vitus, who is... Oh, okay. So it's not going to let us... How am I going to remember this? Okay, I think I can remember this. One, two, three. That's Iggy. And then to the right, that's Vitus. So Iggy, Vitus... Lucy Xander. Okay. Uh, this is going to be hard to memorize, but I need to do it. Okay, so. Iggy, Vitus. Oh, Island. That's easy to remember. And then. I did it! Oh, yay! What the frig is going on? That doesn't sound good. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm very scared. <laughs> So many things just opened and popped and made little noises and stuff. Uh, hello? It's some kind of lock. It's some kind of lock. Well, what do you know? It's some kind of lock. 
You open one door just to get to another locked door. Isn't that how it works? Back to Vivian again. Isn't that like such is life? <laughs> well, dosh darn tootin'. I really thought that was gonna be, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, crazy profound. Mo <gasps> Okay, I spoke too soon. I will shut up now. It did unlock a door. The one that the dogs were making noises behind. Oh boy, here we go. What the heck? This is the creepiest tunnel I have ever... <gasps> a kennel! Oh, they ain't ghost dogs, honey. So you're the oh. ghost dogs. You look pretty real to me. Hi. Aww. Hi, Poopus. He's so cute. Oh. That's so cute. You know what's funny? You can tell which dog is which. Oh my gosh, so wait a minute. Like, take that in for a minute. Uh, They're hiding down here, so someone has definitely wrangled up these dogs, trained these dogs, and now has them locked away down here inhumanely. This is horrible. Oh, they shouldn't be down here. I mean, it sounds like they have water and food, but still... And I don't know what's going on over here. There's some kind of fence and something behind that looks like an opening. Creepy as heck. I mean, that looks like it predates Mickey Malone's stuff. Why would he put a fence in the water? I don't get it. Unless that's just more tunnels. But this is a very creepy cavern. And as I was saying... <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good puppy, puppy, puppy? Oh, I just want to cuddle him. You can tell the one in the front. The playful one. That's probably Xander. And then in the far back left, I don't know if you guys saw the dog sleeping. That's probably our Iggy, who sleeps on the porch. Our baby Iggy. And Vitus. Hey, girl. You're not vicious, <laughs> are you? No. That's probably you're Vitus. You're a nice doggy. Vitus was the one that chased things. No, because Lucy... Vitus was the one that chased things. So Vitus could be the one in the very back on the right side. I think Lucy's the one on the right. However, though, these obviously aren't the same hey, dogs. Boy, who's got you playing <laughs> ghost, huh? <laughs> woof, woof. You don't like playing ghost, do you? Aw, oh, they're all so cute. I'm so glad we found them. Uh, oh, there's more over here, too. What the heck? Whoa. Okay, yeah, they're eating good. Dent to glow. Glow in the dark toothpaste. Okay. Ew, and someone's been someone's been tea eating out here and not cleaning up after themselves. Why would you leave the pizza slice sitting there? There's no microwave. You might as well have just eaten it or taken it wherever to your fridge or just give it to the dang dogs. <laughs> give them a treat. What is this? Silent Sonic's dog whistle. Your dog can hear it, but you can't. Oh! <gasps> The speaker on top of the house with the ladder. And remember how I was sus about that? Because in the very beginning of the game, when I heard Red Knot making his bird noises, the 360 headphones drew me to the corner of the room away from the front door where Red Knot was. So I was hearing the calls, or maybe recorded calls, because why would I hear it from the, the back corner of the living room? just to find out later on that there was a speaker directly above where I was hearing the noises. So, and secondly, why would Red not even play those noises late at night, like Abigail said, when the birds do not come out? If you're a bird watcher, there is no reason for you to try to track birds that late at night. They're all sleeping, and you should be too. So what the heck? And on top of all of that, on top of all of that, um, oh, I was on a roll. <laughs> on top of all that, he could utilize, could he not utilize that same speaker to attract, say, this whistle noise to get the dogs going crazy to attract them to the house. That would explain why they were going nuts up at the house and freaking out and banging up against the walls, right? Oh, Red Wolf, or Red Wolf. <laughs> no, Red Wolf, you are not sus. <laughs> you are not sussy at all. I'm talking about your 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 cousin, your distant cousin, Red Knot. <laughs> He's a little sus. <laughs> He's very sus. He's looking a lot sussy right now. Much more sussier. Actually, now that I think about it too, this glow-in-the-dark toothpaste. Don't tell me she's... 
she, he, whoever is putting toothpaste in their eyes to make their eyes glow. That's very sad. Oh my gosh. Well, whoever this person is, they are, they are not very nice. Oh, look at that. There's another key. Oh, there's the speaker. See what I'm saying? Okay, if this is Red Knot, he certainly has had it out for us for a very long time. What the heck is that? Oh, the glowing eyes! Okay, so who, Red Knot isn't, or whoever, I shouldn't say Red Knot, we don't know who it is, but whoever's up to this didn't put toothpaste in their eyes to make their eyes glow. Thank gosh. That would have been totally inhumane. <laughs> no, she's making them wear these goggles. He or she or whatever. I'm very confused now. Like, very, 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 very confused. <laughs> There's, uh, Brady Armstrong from the final scene. This person loves their... Huh, this person loves their tabloids. I don't see... I, I couldn't see Red Knot being a tabloid kind of guy. Okay, this is getting... This is getting even sussier. all about northeast of Malone Dock comb cameo oh 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 <gasps> oh hell no rumor going around late that Malone house has been sold fine gold now 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 but sorry do you see this this is this is a check-in a log of lake bed raking this isn't Red Knot. This isn't Red Knot. This is, and there's another one. One bottle Cognac, Tiara, one key. Now, all those three things were mentioned in that news article in the archives that talked about Emily Griffin. Mm-hmm. In that article, they actually mentioned this exact entry. Uh, they, she mentioned what she found that day raking in front of the old Malone house. And there's another entry there from another time and here she is talking about needing to get the gold. It, it's it's Emily. It's got to be Emily, right? Eddie and Cher, stinking breath, must brush their teeth. Oh, they do have different names. <laughs> uh, doggy checkup time. Dogs to vet in Livingston apart. Wow. Return Titanic to Val's video sometime. Overdue. Rumor true. Sale of Malone House final. Still so sign up. Time for plan D. <gasps> As in dog. Extra cheap for share for being so good. 500 feet of rocks. One silver flash. Two bottles. <gasps> oh, this is too cold to drag store nets for winter. Okay, see, this is getting real sussy. I don't like to show. For appraisal. This is nuts. For appraisal. Oh. Do we have that phone number? No, I'm gonna call that number. It might just be an Easter egg, but whatever. I think it's important. What I'd like to do is get the heck out of here right away and confront Emily. Right away, <laughs> before anything else. Okay, we will call that number. Let lab reports all dogs a plus plus baxter happy hound ham sticks for training wow new owner moving in late november or late april case catches and kiss buzz. chuck says mm key special made from malone in 1931 gold heist was 1931 <gasps> the key this kiwi hat just found us to gold i'm, I'm guessing no gold. Tiles on mosaics and tunnel push in and out. Clue to where gold is? Think, think, think. Sally McDonald, 27, freelance photographer. <gasps> Shoot. 20% off sale at Well Pets. This girl has been going off. Sally McDonald moving in. Work on mosaics one by one, push every tile. Nothing happens. <gasps> oh no. Malone and his stupid puzzles can take a flying leap. Duh. That sounds like Sal, or that sounds like M. <laughs> 
with their country country uh, narrative. Dogs ready for haunting. Wish I could sick them on Malone. What? Sally M. Gone. Who is Nancy Drew? Get out nets, repair a checkboat for leaks. ND knows about gold. Must find before she does. <gasps> Phew, what did Bruce and Meryl roll in during exercise time? Might as well give them a bath. Oh. O-M. M-M-M. I am so disappointed in you. Yeah, because there is absolutely no way now that this is Red Knot. Gosh, I feel so sorry now for ever, <laughs> ever doubting him. Wow. These dogs have been trained to act vicious on command. <sighs> I bet the dogs attacked Wild. Sally's house because the high frequency signal was transmitted to them through the speaker I saw on the roof. Ding, 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 ding. All right, Nancy. All right. That, that means that we're onto something, because I just finished talking about that. I just finished talking. You've been about trained to respond to a silent signal from this thing, haven't you? Aww. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Aww. Hey, girl. You're not vicious, <laughs> are you? No. You're a nice doggy. A very nice doggy boggy. All right, well, let's go uh, give M some crap. Yeah. And then we'll end the episode, because... Wait, what? I I'm sorry, what? We can't get out? Is that what I'm understanding? What the heck? We can't get out! <laughs> uh... Do I gotta do this again? Let's see if I can remember off by heart. Uh, 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 yay! All right, let's see. What the hell? Okay, you know what though? Something's giving me. I'm getting a vibe. I'm getting a vibe that this this just too too easy. That's too simple. Some with these puzzles, maybe. And we can't leave. I just can't up and leave. Huh? This is a lot to process, isn't it? I think I'm going to leave it at this. I think we might have to stay in this tunnel for the episode, folks, to say goodbye. <laughs> and uh, sacrifice the comfort of our cozy little cabin, which I'm desperately missing right now. <laughs> you, always, uh, you always realize you're taking advantage of something you love until... Uh, or you're, you don't realize you're, you're taking it for granted until you really want it and you need it. <laughs> and you miss it. So, wow. Okay. Well, folks, that's the end of this episode, <laughs> and here we are. We're, we're stuck in the tunnels. We've come a long way, though. We've discovered the dogs. We've found out the motives. We, we basically realized that at this point, it's Emily. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's, it's Emily Griffin. Emily Griffin is our culprit. This is the first time in a very long time, though. I, I don't really quite remember any Nancy Drew games exposing the culprit before actually physically exposing the culprit. So... I have a very strong suspicion, a sneaking suspicion, that this is the end. Which is very sad, because this is only, what, episode 6, I think? So, but, you know, I figured that might happen with the hour episodes, hour 20 minute episodes. Uh, now that we're prolonging our Nancy time with each other, um, the series, the Let's Play series will probably be a little shorter, because, uh, Message in a Haunted Mansion, that was 13 episodes, at about 30 to 40 minute long episodes. Uh, and then uh, Treasure in the Royal Tower, we pushed it to 45 to about an hour some episodes, and we had we got nine episodes in, so that made sense. And now with full hour episodes and hour 20 plus episodes, <laughs> we're we're kind of down. I'm I don't want to jinx this. I mean, I really don't want to call this either, but I feel like I feel like the next episode will be our last. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna jinx it or nothing, but episode seven might be the end so our series might end up becoming seven episodes now who knows um but again that side note is over and getting back to what's important here whoa that's a lot to process to wrap my head around are you guys having a hard time with this because i'm just completely shook that sally or sorry sally emily is the culprit 
She has these dogs trapped under here. She's been utilizing them. I mean, granted, she's been taking very good care of them by the looks of it. They get uh, exercise time by the looks of it. They get baths. They go to the vet. They get fed real well. Um, so it's not like she's being inhumane, but I think even just keeping them locked up down here is kind of inhumane, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Well, anyways, folks, I guess we'll figure out in the next episode what's going to go down. Will it be the end? Will we carry on? Will we be shocked and find out it's not Emily? Who knows? <laughs> but until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Each and every one of you, I am internally grateful for you and your love and your support and your kindness. I am very grateful. We are on a roll. And I don't know where I'd be without you, my Clue Crew. You guys make this possible. And I, I love to do this. I, I love Let's Plays so much. And they are my ultimate pleasure. It's all my pleasure. The pleasure's all mine. I love you guys. And until next time, Clue Crew. Until next time. We've got a case to solve. And I think we're just about there. You ready? Are you ready to jump into this? Are you ready to find out who the culprit is? I mean, we're pretty sure it's Emily, but... Yeah. And we're going to find some gold, too. Very exciting stuff. All right, folks. Toodles for now. Ta-ta. Ciao. Till next time. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo? Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>